Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well today. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of e.l.f. makeup. So I'm gonna be trying out a couple of new products from their Mint Melt collection. I have a couple of their eyeshadows that I'm gonna be playing with and one of the lip glosses. And I'm also gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two foundations. I do already have them on, so let me know if you can tell which side is which. But I'm wondering how these to compare to each other because this one is six dollars this one is a little bit more than double the price at 14 and i'm just wondering if it's necessary to have both of these so we're going to check that out. So I'm also going to be using a bunch of other e.l.f. products. I did unfortunately have to bring in a couple of reinforcements for some of these products because they kind of went left when I started trying to use them. But you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later on. So it's going to be a whole bunch of e.l.f. makeup. But what we're focusing on mainly today are these foundations and the Mint Melt collection or some of the products from the Mint Melt collection. So if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sonia Nicole and I post new makeup content content every week, including some stuff for makeup lovers who are 40 and over. So if that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe while you're here. I would love to have you join and I would definitely appreciate your support. All right, you guys, let's jump right into it. I'm having like some kind of hot flash or something this morning so I just turned my fan on so I'm sorry if y'all can hear that but I'm like really hot all of a sudden so anyway let's go in with the foundation so I wanted to compare these side by side because I think that they both wear very beautifully on the skin but I'm wondering if they're kind of like the same thing like if you already have this one is it even necessary to get this one so we're gonna do a side by side comparison of these I'm gonna start off with the CC cream on this side of my face and I'm starting off with about like a half a pump so this is like a half a pump of the foundation so if you haven't bought this yet and you're thinking about getting it it's kind of like imperative that you go to the store and look at this in person because trying to find your shade online in this um, foundation is like really difficult to do so this is the shade 425 in and when I did my first impression video on this I wore shade 375 in and 375 was too light for me but I actually liked the undertone of it which is why I decided to try another neutral undertone so in case you're new here I usually wear pink tone foundations 375 in is a neutral pink tone whereas 425N is actually a neutral golden undertone. So when I saw golden, I said, oh, this is not gonna work, but I actually think that this is a pretty good shade match for my skin. I think 450N would have been better, but I feel like this one actually looks okay, but it's like, it's neutral golden. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more of the foundation. If you are thinking about getting a neutral shade though, when you look at the shades online, they don't tell you, so the neutral ones, they're gonna skew either cool or warm, but they're not gonna tell you that online because like 375 and it just says neutral. I didn't even know it was neutral pink until I bought it and saw it in person and the same thing with 425 in. So like just in case you can use me as a shade reference, again, this is 425 in. It's not the best shade match, but it's something that I can, that I can wear. And over here, I'm going to go in with the Flawless Finish Foundation, and this is in the shade 450 Caramel. So I don't know if the shades are supposed to be the same between these two, but 450 in this foundation, I feel like is a better shade match. Like I feel like this one, it looks okay, but then when I put on 450 in this one, like it makes this one look like it's not the best shade match when I'm putting it up against another one. So I do feel like I should have gotten 450 in the CC cream, but I already bought two of these, two of the CC creams. I really don't want to buy another one. So All right, I'm just putting on a little bit more on this side too. So I haven't finished blending this one out yet, but I can already tell you that I do stand corrected on these two foundations being kind of like the same. I do already see a difference on the CC cream side. Um, aside from the shade match, this is a better shade match, but 
I do feel like the CC cream is laying better on my skin. Like to me, my skin just looks smoother, like cleaner over here. So let me know what y'all think. So yeah, it is a difference, but I mean, I said in my first video on this one that I think that this is a little overpriced. I do feel like they could have charged maybe like $10, maybe $12 for this, but I think because it's an e.l.f. product, I do think $14 is kind of up there, and I think that they upped the price on this one compared to their other foundation because this is supposed to have more of like skincare properties, and e.l.f.'s skincare is a bit higher than their, um, than their makeup up products but I do still feel like this is just a little overpriced for it being elf but I will say that I do think the CC cream it just looks better because at first I was thinking they kind of like wear the same but no they don't the CC cream does look it looks better so yeah I, I stand corrected so Okay, so before we move on to the eyeshadow, when I was doing my brows, I noticed that the coverage level of the CC cream is higher than the foundation side. So I went in with even a little bit more of this foundation over here to try and like even out the coverage. So I'll zoom y'all in one more time because I feel like now it's a little bit more even. So let me know again if you like one side better than the other or do you not notice a difference. All right, so for the eyeshadow, I have my primer on I use the elf putty primer and I use the shade rose in that so I have the two new mint melt eyeshadow palettes and for those of y'all who watch my videos y'all know how I feel about these bite-sized palettes I love them so the first one is called meant to be so that's what this palette looks like and then this other one is called chocolate mint and that's this one here so I feel like what I'm going to do is combine some of the colors from both of the palettes to do a look for today. This green shade here, I'm actually not all that crazy about it. Like it's just a little bit like too bold for me, I guess, too bold of a green shade. These three shades though, I really like. And this shade here is like really calling my name. It's like a green tone with like a, almost like a grayish undertone to it. And I love cool tones for those of y'all who, might be watching me for the first time so this green shade here looks really pretty to me so I think what I'm gonna do is use these three shades from the meant to be palette and then I'm looking at this shade and one of these two browns from the chocolate mint palette I don't know if I'm gonna tap into this shade today I'm not sure all right I'm starting off with the chocolate mint palette and I'm gonna dip into this shade right here and I'm gonna put this on most of my lid so right off the bat, I feel like the reason I like the other bite size palettes so much is because I think the color payoff is really nice. I think that these shadows are really pigmented. There's hardly any fallout and these palettes are really inexpensive. So that's what I'm getting from this shade. So, so far so good, but you know, I just tapped into it. So we'll see. And then I'm going to go into the Meant to Be palette. I'm going to take this shade here and put it on the outer part of my lid. So when I picked this one up with the brush, there was a little bit more kickback than um, compared to the shimmery shade on my lid, but not a whole lot. This shade here is really pretty. I always feel like when I use like muted cool tone colors that a lot of people may not like them because it seems like everybody is more into the warm tones. So I feel like a lot of people may not like this shade here, but this is so pretty. I really like that. And I usually don't do like green eyeshadow, but this color here is so pretty to me. So now I'm going back into the chocolate palette. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of this dark brown shade. That's gonna go on the outer part of the lower lash line. I kept going back and forth between the two browns thinking that maybe this one might be a little too dark, but I'm just putting it right on the outer part of the lower lash line and I am gonna eventually buff it out. I just wanted a little bit of brown in the look somewhere. So now I'm going to try this light green matte shade here and it might look a bit ashy on me. I might have to go in and mix these two mattes together, but I'm going to try this one on its own first and use that to buff the look out. So I'm just going to use this one to kind of like blend around 
that dark green shade. And I feel like it's barely showing up so far. Okay, there it is. I guess I just needed to pick up a little bit more on my brush. I don't think it looks that bad. I'm gonna have to like finish blending it out and then see if I wanna go on top of it with that other green shade. So I'm also using this to blend under that chocolate brown color on the lower lash line and that'll help to like further buff that brown out so it's not quite as harsh. I'm gonna take that same brush without picking up any more shadow and I'm just going to blend right where the two shades on my lid meet each other just to make sure those are blended into one another and i'm more so taking the matte shade and kind of like blending it over the shimmery shade okay i'm going back into the meant to be palette and now i'm going to pick up this green shimmer shade so this one is just a little bit lighter than the one that i already have on the lid i'm going to put this in the innermost part of the lid and later on i'm going to also use this as my inner corner highlight i just want to put my concealer on before i do that but for right now i'm just going to put this on the very innermost part of the lid and i feel like First impression on this, I feel like it looks just like this other green shimmery shade. They definitely look different in the pan. So this green shimmery shade here, this is the one that I have on my lid right now. And then this is the one here that I'm trying to put in the inner corner. But I feel like when I put it on my eye, it looks just like the other green shade that I have on my lid already. And it may be because maybe I just bought that first green shade in a little too much, but they're looking like exactly the same color so far. So the green that I put in the inner corner, it is coming off like just a little bit brighter, but there's not like too much of a difference so far, but I may notice more of a difference when I go in and do like my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna do that a little bit later on. Okay, I'm gonna move on to concealer. So this isn't anything new. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm gonna be mixing the shades Tan Walnut and Deep Caramel. So it's been a minute since since I've used these and I don't remember how I used to mix them I want to say I used to just do like an equal amount of both or I don't know if I was using like maybe less of this and more of that I'm not sure so I'm just gonna start off with doing like an equal amount of both of them I think All right, I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side but then go in with a little bit more of the lighter concealer I think okay like I always do I'm gonna take my foundation brush to blend out the concealer on my chin and my forehead I just feel like using like my residual foundation helps to blend it in a little bit better and a little bit more seamlessly and then I'm just going back in with my concealer brush to blend around my mouth and around my eyes. All right, so now that I have my concealer on, I'm gonna blend on my lower lash line just a little bit. I just wanna further buff where the eyeshadow is stopping on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna set just my concealer for now because I am gonna be trying one of their cream blushes. So this isn't a new product, but it's just new to me. This is one of the e.l.f. HD powders in the shade Soft Luminance. So I did try one of their Halo Glow powders back in the summer. I tried the, um, I forget the name of it, but it was the one that is the pink color. And I did not like that powder at all. So I decided to try another one. I don't think e.l.f. has like a whole lot of powder to choose from Ooh, powder just went all over the place <laughs> so let me just show you the color of this one I like powders that have like a beige tone to it or maybe like a pink tone to it this one looks pretty beige so I'm hoping that this one works out so I'm just picking that up oh this has a lot of shimmer in it this powder is shimmery all right i'm gonna try it anyway but it's like super shimmery i didn't i didn't realize that but anyway i'm just going to put just a little bit of it yeah it's like really shimmery 
I'm going to keep going with it since I already started putting it on, but I feel like I just put like a highlighter under my eyes. I don't remember reading that in the description, but honestly, that could be something that I just totally missed, but it has like a lot of shimmer in it. So I feel like I don't even know like what I would use this powder for. Like I definitely wouldn't use it to set my face because it has so much shimmer. Wow. I'm gonna have to uh <laughs> I'm gonna have to use something else to set my face. I didn't realize that that was a shimmery powder. All right, I'm gonna use another drugstore powder just because the plan was to do like all elf stuff, so I want to kind of stay like in the same price range at least. But I'm gonna go in with my Cody Airspun powder and use that to set my concealer. So for this one, since I don't want to use my um, my sponge anymore because it has a lot of the shimmer on the sponge from the powder, so I'm just going to dust some of my Cody powder on top of my concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to be trying one of the new cream blushes. Um, it's relatively new. These have been out for a little while now, but I've had this for about a month now, but I'm just now <laughs> getting around to trying it out. So this one is in the shade Fiji. And if it's this pigmented on my cheeks, that's going to be like a bit too much for me, but we'll see how much uh, pigment it actually puts down on your cheek. Maybe it's not, you know, quite as bold as this. So we shall see. So I'm going to start out with about that much because I just don't know like what the pigment level is on this. And I'm just going to start. Well, I feel like I barely picked up anything. I see a little bit, but... It is a bit more on the red side than I usually like, but it's not bad. I do feel like it's giving me like a nice, a nice flush as opposed to like being too strong looking on my face. It's just a little too red for me, that's all. It's nice though, like I just tried the new Rare Beauty blushes and I like those because they just give you like a wash of color. I feel like this one gives you a little bit more pigment than those Rare Beauty blushes, but it's still not too much. So yeah, I do like this. I'm just gonna look into maybe another shade, but this is nice. I feel like it's like a nice flush and it's not too much on the cheeks. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. So I was going to use that e.l.f. powder to set my entire face with. But again, there's too much shimmer in there. So I'm going to use another drugstore powder. So I'm just going to pick up some of the Maybelline powder. This one is in the shade Light, by the way. So I'm just going to pick up some of this just to set the rest of my face. I just wanted to put that cream blush on first before I went in and set my entire face. So unfortunately, this next product is another one that I may have to bring in reinforcements for. <laughs> so this is one of the e.l.f. Uh, primer infused bronzers. And this one is in the shade Perpetually Tan. And again, this isn't new. It's just new to me. So this is what the shade looks like. So somehow I'm going to see if I can bronze with this. Now they do have a shade that's deeper than this one. It only comes in three shades. They have a shade deeper than this, but the deeper one looked really really orange so I wanted to go with this one instead because it didn't look quite as orange online I even went to like Google images to look up some swatches of these bronzers this one looked okay but the deepest one just looked way too orange so I'm gonna see if I can bronze with this if not I may have to go on top of it with something else because I don't have anything else from elf that I could possibly bronze with but let's start with this and see this one looks kind of orange too but just not quite as orange as the other one. This actually doesn't look all that bad. It definitely wouldn't be a bronzer that I would reach for on a regular basis, but I don't know. It, it's really subtle on my face, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Let me know what y'all think. Can y'all make it out? I do feel like I'm packing it on because you can barely see it, but I can see it. And I guess because it does run orange, it is kind of sorta giving me like a warmth 
effect but it's not as it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be I think I'm gonna just stick with this for now um, when I finish my whole face maybe I'll look back and see if I feel like I need to bronze with something else but for now I'm just gonna stick with this because it's not as bad as I thought and I really wanted to just stick with just elf products for today so since I already had to go in with a couple of other products I'm gonna see if I can just work with this for today okay so let me know in the comments if you can make the bronzer out at all or does it look like I just didn't put any bronzer on because I can see it in my mirror and it doesn't look as bad as I thought hmm. So let's move on to um, setting spray. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. This isn't a new product either. This is just a, a setting spray that I use from time to time. The sprayer on here is broken though. So let me see if I can show you all how when I spray it once, then it gets stuck and I can't use this bottle. So when I emptied out my Fenty bottle, I poured some of this spray in here. So I'm going to be spraying it out of here, but this is the e.l.f. spray that I'm using. And the sprayer on this bottle is a lot nicer anyway. It is more of like a misty spray coming out of this one. I'm going to do my mascara and eyeliner off camera. So this is just the, I don't even know what the name of this is, but it's an e.l.f. eyeliner, just a plain black eyeliner. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Plump It Up mascara. So I'll do these off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, mascara and eyeliner are on. So I'm going to go back into the Meant to Be palette and I'm going to pick up some of this lighter green shimmery shade again and I'm going to use that as my inner corner and I'm going to see if I can see a difference between this color and the green one that I have on my lid already. So that's it right on my inner corner. Let me make sure that I am, yes I am picking up the, the right shade. It looks exactly the same. It looks just like the first green shimmer shade from the other palette. I was expecting more of like a silvery green shade, but I feel like I'm getting straight up green. And there's also a lot more fallout with this particular green too. It doesn't look bad, but I was expecting more of like a silvery green with that color, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to be finishing everything off with one of the new Mint Melt Lip Glosses. And this one is in the shade Chocolate Mint, so that's what the color looks like. So this is a plumping lip gloss, and I never buy those types of lip glosses, but I really just wanted to try this particular shade out. I also have a lip liner from e.l.f., a brown one, so I might use that too, but I'm going to go in with just the lip gloss and see how I like it on its own. So it definitely feels like a plumping gloss, like I can feel like that tingling effect, but it's very minimal, like it's not uncomfortable at all. I like this color, it is like really subtle though, like I have like really pink lips, so I do feel like there's enough color in here that it kind of blended out some of my pink and like covered it up. So now my lips look a bit more brown than they do pink, but I like it. Now I will say, so I've had this on for what, like five or 10 seconds now. As I'm wearing it though, I can feel the plumping effect, like the tingling effect. I can feel it more and more. So it's kind of like building up, but it's nothing like too crazy. Okay, you guys, and here's my completed full face of e.l.f. makeup. So if you got any of the new products from the Mint Melt collection, let me know what you got and what you think about them. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video today. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe before you head out today. And I'll see y'all back here for my next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.